Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 2.71 from what book is this? Hamblis book? Yeah. Use mass current analysis to find the values of I1 and I2 in figure P2.27. So this is the figure. Select I1 clockwise around the left hand mass. Okay, maybe let's follow that first. I1 clockwise around the left hand mass. So this is I1. Okay. And then what else? I2 clockwise around the right hand mass. Okay, this is I2. The right hand mass. And then I3 clockwise around the center mass. Okay. So this is I3. Okay, however, for I3, because this is a current source, the value of I3 will be the same as this current source. So, we will have I3 is equal to 2 Ampere. So, that is the value of I3, but we still need to find out the value of I1 and also the value of I2. Okay, let's do VL at its loop. So let's do that. So let's do KPL at loop I1. Okay. KPL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay. And let's start from this 40 ohm resistor. Okay. We start that 40 ohm. However, this is a resistance. To get voltage, we need to multiply it by a current. And the only current that pass through this 40 ohm resistor is I1. So, 40 multiplied by I1. Okay, and then let's move on to other components, which is this 10 ohm. So, I will have 10 ohm. Again, we need to multiply resistance with current to get voltage. However, there are two currents that that's flow through this 10 ohm resistor which is i1 and i3 because we are doing kvl at loop i1 we are looking from the loop i1 so i multiply it by i1 first but then here i3 is flowing to the opposite direction i1 is flowing down but i3 is flowing up so i will have i1 minus i3 and it is all the components yeah i think so so we have all the components done so all of that will equal to zero right and then what can we do from here i will have 40 i1 let's distribute this so i will have 10 i1 and then 10 multiplied by minus 1 is minus 10 so I will have minus 10 I3 and all will equal 0. Okay, so I will have 40 plus 10 which is 50. So I will have 50 I1 minus 10 I3 that will equal 0. What can we do from here? Yeah, we know I3. I3 is 2 Ampere. So let's do substitution there so i will have 50 i1 minus 10 multiplied by 2 and all of that will equal to 0 10 multiplied by 2 is 20 so i will have 50 i1 minus 20 is equal to 0 let's move this 20 to the right hand side so i'll have 50 i1 is equal to 20 so i will have i1 is equal to 20 divided by 50 and the unit will be ampere or we can write it in decimal so i will have i1 is equal to i think that will be 0 0.4 ampere or we can write it in milliampere so i will have i1 is equal to 400 milli ampere okay and i think that's the answer for i1 okay let's clean up the board and find out what is i2 okay the second thing that we need to do is to find out about i2 
So we can do another things. Let's play same game, which is KVL at loop I2. Okay, KVL at loop I2. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, let's start from this 2 ohm resistor. Again, because this is a resistance, we need to multiply it by current. But now we are working on I2, so I write I2 first. However, this is I3 flowing to the opposite direction in this I2. So I will have minus I3. Okay, and I think we got the voltage on this 2 ohm resistor. And then plus... The other component is 6, but then the only current that pass through it is I2. So I will have I2, and all of that will equal to 0. Okay, now let's distribute this. So I will have 2I2 minus 2I3 plus 6I2 is equal to 0. 2 plus 6 is 8, so I will have 8I2, then minus 2I3, all of that will equal to 0. And then I2 is what we are looking for, but we know that I3 is 2 ampere, so I will have this 2 multiplied by 2. All of that will equal to 0, but then 8I2 minus 4 is equal to 0 and we can just do a high school math here so 8i2 is equal to 4 so i will have i2 is 4 divided by 8 and the unit will be ampere 4 divided by 8 is 0 0.5 so we'll write that 0 0.5 ampere or we can write it in milliampere which is 500 milliampere okay let's highlight all we got so i1 is 400 milliampere and i2 is 500 milliampere so i think that's all for this problem let me know if i made any mistakes in my calculation thank you for watching See you in the next video. Bye-bye.